Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Susan head football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, you were home this past Saturday, you played Kings, uh, were able to overcome a little bit of a slow start to um, pick it up in the second half and come away with uh, another victory. Yeah, the, you know, the slow starts is something that we've talked about a little bit and we've got to start finding ways to come out hot in the first quarter, but overall a good team win. Um, whenever you look at this, you know, the stat sheet at the end of the game to hold somebody to minus seven yards rushing is, is pretty significant. Uh, you know, we gave up some things through the air defensively, um, you know, that we're going to have to work to clean up. And, and the offense was efficient. You know, yeah. I, I still think we're still think we're getting better. I still think there's lots of things to work on, um, but pleased overall with the effort. Yeah, overall, like you said, the offense, you know, seems to be clicking, seems to be getting a little better every week. And uh, you know, defensive efforts were very consistent. Like you said, maybe gave up some in the air, but, you know, on the ground, they got, you know, like you said, minus seven yards. I and mean, that's pretty hard to do in any college football game. Absolutely. And, and ultimately, the stat that matters the most is is the win. So, yeah. again, you know, we've, we've got some things to work on this week as we look forward to Val. But, you know, again, proud of the effort. Yeah. As slow as, you know, as slow as you say, maybe the first quarter's been, the third quarter seems to be where you guys really shine. I think the touchdown you gave up was only the second you gave up in the third quarter all year. And, uh, you know, again, come out, score 17 points in the third quarter and kind of, you know, build that lead and kind of start to pull away. Yeah. If you look at the third quarter numbers on a whole for the year, um, I, I think it's reflective of our staff being able to get in and get things adjusted. Um, and also our guys being able to understand and execute the adjustments coming out of the locker room at halftime. And I think it's a credit to, to both groups, you know, the ability to get in there. We talk about communication and the need to have communication and execution coming out of the locker room. I think it's been, I think it's been a really, really good thing for us. Uh, but again, you know, we want to come out, we want to play four consistent quarters of football. Yeah, absolutely. And now, uh, you know, again, talk about that offense. It just seems like, again, you're not relying on maybe just one or two guys. There's, you know, consistency in the passing game, you know, there's, couple guys in the running game stepping up so you're not the the defense can't necessarily key in on just one or two guys and try to shut them down yeah I think Saturday was our third back to go over 100 yards rushing in a game this year so that's um you know that's a really good problem to have obviously you know we've focused over the course of the last couple years on building our depth um and and seeing having three guys go over 100 yards in a season I think is, is is good for us and you know, they're all underclassmen, yeah. um, which is really, really exciting. And, and you're see, seeing the development of the relationship between Ryan and, and the receiving core, and those guys just seem to get better and better every Saturday. Yeah. Now, this past month, you've had the, uh, the luxury of being at home. I uh, head back up on the road this week, head up to Lebanon Valley for uh, you know, another important Mac game. Yeah, you know, we, we talk all the time about um, setting ourselves up to play meaningful games in the month of November. And we're here. And yeah. Saturday's a big ball game in the league. Um, so we've got to go out and, and, you know, get on the bus and, and make sure we bring our best football with us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we'll wish you the best of luck Saturday at LVC. And uh, we'll chat next week. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.